Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our Project Ozone 3 Couple Mode playthrough. I have been a little busy here, and uh, as we can see, I've crafted up a bunch more mana spreaders. I've got a couple more uh, Kekamuras and some more uh, mechanical users, and I've gone ahead and put them uh, underneath, and then we have the supplied the chest with some pumpkin and that's just piping all the pumpkins in there and yeah as we can see it is uh chugging along here got a whole bunch more mana pools and uh, i have noticed uh which is not unsurprising at night it goes faster um i also noticed that it will always do the farthest left cake first so it'll finish it'll go there if another one switches It'll go to like farther one. Let's uh I also crafted this up. Turn it night. And while I'm here really quick, there's a couple little constellations I haven't found yet, so I just check every night. Oh. Um I also changed the collector crystal to Amara, which is that one, a bright constellation, because that is apparently in the sky more than the the one I had done, see, as we can see, no, there's like four, but it'll do there. It'll go to this one every time I start, and then I'll go back to this one. So unfortunately, sometimes it'll end up with like a slice there, a slice there, and a slice there, but it won't, like it's not giving it time to um like turn back into cake. See, like this one, if it had finished that, it could be turning into cake. Yeah, now it's like leaving both these two, so. Eh, oh well. Uh, apparently it can eat a slice every four seconds. So we're just about under one a second with the five. Yeah, see there, it's leaving one. Instead of eating it so it can produce another cake, it goes to this one and then this one and yeah. I don't know, but whatever. As we can see, it's uh, pretty fast at night. So, uh, yeah, it's hilarious. Um, and then we have the recessive on this one. They're all pointed towards this one. I'm just noticing that one doesn't seem to be. That's weird. That one's working, right? Yeah. It's like it's being blocked or something. Move it over. Or let's we'll try again. I don't know. I feel like shouldn't that work if the other one works too? Hmm. That is interesting. I hadn't noticed that actually. Actually, let's one second. Let's let's try this again. So back to there. Yeah, it doesn't want to. That's weird. Or is that one's working? So you think like the same symmetrical on the other side? I don't know. That's a bit weird. Yeah, it's very weird. I don't want to put that there, but it still doesn't want to work. Right. There? Yes? No? Hmm. Well, that's surprising. Well, there we go. Not really how I wanted that to look. Maybe I'll move this to there and that one to there, maybe, or something like that. Anyway, that uh, spent way too much time on that. Anyway, um, also got a vacuum chest, which is set to only whitelist Terra Steel, just to pick up the thing when we're here. And uh, I need 72 
uh, Terra Steel Ingots for the uh, the seed, the Terra Steel seed. So that is why that isn't here. But uh, basically, this is what we're doing: throwing this over here, taking that. But I'm leaving those in there just to kind of keep them separate. Um, because, as we can see over here, I have built out a platform with a beacon, and uh, we just need to put these Gaia pylons down, and we will can fight the Gaia Guardian. So let me get these. I think we have. Nice. Just happen to have enough Manda Diamonds in there. And gone ahead and gotten all this, so... Here we go. So let's. There we go. That. Now I have no idea how difficult it's going to be. I believe the Gaia Guardian has like limits on how much damage you could do. So I still think generation and all the hearts we have i i think will be good but hey i don't know we'll see so basically i think we just uh right click with the terra steel ingot if i is that right no uh i may need to build up yeah I, I wasn't sure how big the thing is but i didn't want to click on it until uh until i did it so it looks like i need to do at least two or Three. Yeah, like three more. Looks like two more. All right, uh, let me do that really quick and because that's going to take me a second and we'll come back. All right, should we try this again? I think that's, I hope that's big enough. Yep, there we go. Alright, yeah. The, uh, as expected, the flight is disabled. But it's also doing, like, no damage. Is this purple stuff even doing damage? I guess it's doing a little bit of damage. Now it's phase two. Apparently it spawns uh, wither skeletons. Does it always spawn wither skeletons or is that... I feel like wither skeletons is a bit weird, right? I do like the music. Hopefully it doesn't get, like, <laughs> flagged on YouTube or something. Alright, there we go. A bit easier just to spam him. Alright, easy enough. Uh, I was kind of hoping I should have hit him with the... I don't know if... I doubt the looting will, uh, I doubt hitting him with this sword. Do you think that would increase the amount of, uh, guy spirits? I don't know. All right, I don't need any of this. This stuff is, like, just junk. I should put some glowstone down so, uh, the torches don't get broken. Let's just avoid all this stuff except that. Patient bag. Yeah, I'm not. Do we feel like going through this? I think it has a cake or something. Oh, it has a chance of a guy spirit, but do we care? 
Because the guy is pretty easy to kill, so we'll just get rid of that. Alright, so we got our guy spirits, and why don't we go ahead and we'll make a Gaia ingot. Nice thing about having so many, it goes really fast. Um, basically, we do that. So there is the guy spirit ingot. Now we can go ahead and get that soul thing. Don't remember where I put it. Where the heck did I put it? Soul crystal. Got our sword. I need a thousand. Rack. Basically take it all and then I think that's that everything. Ah, uh, blitz rods. Alright, well we can just we'll do that. Because we do have oh. there we go. I need to put acceleration cards in the, the things as well, but I haven't really found a it hasn't been super important that I do that, but uh, there we go. Is that and there is looting fifty is that looting fifty? Reaper fifty <laughs> XP boost fifty. That is hilarious. Wow, we have blue hearts. <laughs> I don't know what that plus a thousand is. Does anyone know what that plus a thousand is? Not sure. But uh, yeah, this is hilarious. And there's one more after this as well. 2,000 racks. Rubies we have. This is, that's easy. Another rhyme. I don't know that. I've never, never seen that before. Another rhyme or? I have no idea. Gem, Rhine, I don't know, white crystal? What's a white crystal? Uranus, white gem ore. Aquamarine. All right, everything, I, well, okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe not quite that yet. But, uh, I mean, most of the stuff we can do. But, uh, okay, I'm pretty stoked about the, uh, <laughs> that sword. That sword is hilarious. Is that 201 damage? But, uh, all right, uh, also, while we're here, why don't we go ahead and make another ingot, and let's try this Gaia fight again, but we can do an upgraded version of it. You start the fight the same way, except instead of Terra Steel, you do a Gaia Spirit ingot. So, why don't we try that, since we didn't really seem to have much of a issue with it. Let me throw a couple of these things away. Linking tool can go in there. Just emptying out my inventory building rod can go in there. There we go. Alright, so I guess let's let's try this fight again and see if uh it's any different or any harder. Wonder if ooh, we are taking a bit of damage. Oh god. Ah, I'm stuck. Ah. All right, so a little bit more difficult than uh, the other ones. I'll give us some time to heal up here. Oh my goodness, if I keep... All right, I thought I'd be able to heal up, but... Uh...
Alright. Although, the, uh... The mobs seem to be... Like, only half aggroing, so... I'll try to kill him with the... There we go. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's... That's, uh... <laughs> look at all the loot. Uh, that's hilarious. Man, did he drop a whole bunch of runes and all sorts? Alright, so we got 16. Add craft of the terra field, add the following effect. Ender pearls, manda diamonds, and he dropped a bunch of runes. Dice of fate. That is hilarious. <laughs> loot loot 50. Um, I don't think we need anything else. Yeah, let me before we fight him again, I'm gonna. I'll put, like, glowstone in the ground. These pylons kind of get in the way. When you're fighting. Yeah, I don't see anything else remotely worth. Yeah, I guess... That yellow heart we kind of need. If I can get it. Nope. 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 There we go. Got the yellow heart. All right. So that is the second Gaia Guardian. And uh, definitely harder than the first. I got a little bit marginally worried there a couple times. But uh, for the most part, it's pretty easy with uh, all the gear we have and the sword and my, my thing. So I have two modifiers on there. I should throw more sharpening on there. Alright, uh, let me throw, get some over to this. Don't need that. Lotus, don't need that. I don't think we need these. Oh, where is that? We'll throw them in a thing somewhere. Along with that. Got Root of Lust. The other ones we've already crafted and are pretty easy. But uh, a tier 3 rune I will I will definitely take. Critical hits apply a strong slowless effect. Alright, probably not going to be doing the Terror Steel. Eh, maybe. I'm not sure. Alright, Dice of Fate. Let's see what we get. Ring of Odin. I can't remember, uh, don't remember which, uh, is that a good one? I can't remember. I would have to look in the book. Now, can't you, don't you upgrade the book? How do you, I upgraded the Lexica Bacana by throwing it in there. You, like, craft it with a guy speed or something. How do you upgrade it again? Oh, it's already upgraded. Nice. Ring of Odin. And extra hearts. Oh, nice. I know every time you you get one of those, it makes the fight easier and easier. So, uh, uh, I may hold on to this Will of Torag. I don't know if we're going to do the element, um, elemental steel or whatever. And look at how many. <laughs> wow, look at that. Pink. Or purplish, pinky purple. Never seen that color heart before. But all right, um, there we go. That is that, and so we can just claim all this stuff. What else does it want us to get? A couple things we probably won't be using. Banner spreader probably don't need to use that. I'll get that crafted up, and all the different runes. And this 
alchemy catalyst. Ugh. Easy enough, except for the thing. All right, so what I am kind of noticing is um, now that I have, we've kind of done most of Batani here. <laughs> Look how full these bulls are. I love them. And these are filling up. Uh, I think we're going to have to get into some... Um, oh my goodness, what I trying Industrial foregoing. Because um, we, if we saw that, um, it's going to need a, to do potion framer. So we're going to have to get plastic. So I think it is, we're actually going to have to start doing this. Because I also noticed um, we're going to need a pink slime ingot or something like that. Crystalline pink slime ingot is a pretty um, end game material here. It's used in the wand of animation and um, also used in. Thought it was used in a uh, dimensional transceiver that was the other thing that i wanted to get with it um so i can move this farm far far away and um yeah we'll use a dimensional transceiver i think but uh, unfortunately we can't like i'll put like the farm like way over here away uh but i can't do it without getting those ingots those crystalline pink slime ingots and uh, to get those, we need a pink slime ingot. And to get that, we need a fluid sieving machine with pink slime. And uh, obviously, this is going to require plastic. Everything else is like really easy. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to get plastic. So why don't we, let me take a look here. The what is it? The late actually, there probably is a whole quest line that we haven't even looked at yet. Yep, here it is. So resin extractor. I think these are like batteries. I think. I don't really know actually. Um, I've googled that and I haven't really gotten an answer on what those are. So uh, I guess yeah, we'll start doing some of this. I mean, this stuff is really easy, especially now that everything is like. Machine framed. Um, or everything is like auto crafting. Oh, there we go. Machine frame. And I still don't know why. I need more dense energy cells. I thought like one dense energy cell would be enough, but should we grab another one? Sure, why not? <laughs> And I love having just everything. It just is such a fun, just so fun for me. It's like my favorite thing in Minecraft, modded Minecraft is getting everything automated. All right, so maybe that will help a little bit. I hate, it just annoys me whenever you do crafting and stuff like, that's just, all right. Um, so yeah, uh, let me get some of this crafted up here. There's a couple machines, and uh, yeah, we're starting to see some craziness here. I gotta look at this nether rhyme. I haven't seen any of that, but uh, yeah, let me get this. I also want to get my woot going, my woot farm, and uh, I have been kind of putting that off because it is there's a lot of crafting involved with that. Um, but, uh, cause I want nether stars so I can farm the ender dragon. So yeah, a couple things we need to do here. So let me cut here and we'll come back. All right. We are back and it's been uh, quite a while. Um, I did some uh, grinding out of the Gaia guardian and I actually like AFK'd for quite a few hours, uh, letting these pools fill up a bit. And um, as we can see, I've gone ahead and done the Guy Guardian six times to get all the different, uh, all the different items. Uh, I think the only two really that, uh, the Ring of Odin is pretty good. Um, the, f the fruit is like food, um, unlimited food. 
which I could replace with my apples, but I need um I would need to get a mana a mana ring or a mana tablet or something on me, and I just uh, uh I don't know maybe I just haven't got round to crafting up a uh, ring. I don't even remember how much greater band of mana. Oh, that's actually like really easy. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we should. Um, anyway, uh, just thought I would point that out. Uh, I did craft up a whole bunch of Terra Steel um, because when you have like 11 mana pools worth of mana, uh, you can craft up like 22 Terra Steel at once. So uh, I have gone ahead and done that. Um, like I said, I was AFK for quite a while and uh, yeah, so we got all the Terra Steel we need, and there's the Mana Steel ingots, and uh, everything for the Terra Steel. Now, I don't... Um, yeah, I don't... I don't really need the Terra Steel ingots, to be honest, but I don't know. I just felt like working towards up, because, you know, why not? Um, also, we got a couple, if we see the Enchanted Soil... Um, I got two overgrowth, two overgrowth seeds from killing the Guy Guardian six times. Dropped two, like one of the kills that dropped two of them. And uh, oh, the other thing is this. So this is such a this is I got this last unfortunately because it is the the most fun. I haven't actually tried it with the Guy Guardian, but uh, if you have mana on you, summons a bunch of. Weapons, and then whichever direction you're facing <laughs> goes and sets up and explosive. It's such a fun uh, thing. So maybe we will use that at some point. Unfortunately, we have kind of like <laughs> gone through most of the magic mods now, but uh, I'm sure we will at some point. But I'm just going to leave it in there. Uh, for the time being. Um, but I uh, don't have a whole lot of time for this episode, but uh, I am decided to go ahead and get some of these um, machines, the industrial foregoing machines. Now uh, we're doing this, and it's going to want us to get the mob crusher, um, which is actually pretty easy, but I do need some plastic. And uh, I need the slaughter. The slaughterhouse is what we're Slaughter Factory is what we're going for. Um, but unfortunately, the quest has us get that, so I figured why not do the quest. But anyway, let's uh, get some plastic going on. It's really, really easy. As we can see, I've been AFK for quite some time. 166,000. Um, I have decided I think it's time to break down all this industrial stuff. Um, I'm not using it. Um, we'll throw it in a chest somewhere, but uh, we'll save it. Get rid of all the um, industrial wiring and stuff. I think it is time to give us some more space. I'm going to leave the ember stuff because we may use it again. We just used it um, for some random stuff, so I'm going to leave that up. But all the industrial stuff, I don't even I don't even use the press anymore um, because I've just kind of like the uh, iron mechanical components. Yeah, you can do it in this engineer's workbench and it's cheaper, but eh, resources. So I just kind of do that recipe. Um, but yeah, uh, this tree one actually doesn't need. It actually doesn't need any power. Well, that's not the way I wanted to face it. There we go. Um, basically, you just put a piece of wood in front of it and it'll slowly It'll slowly like uh, break the block. You should see the little animations that it's breaking. I wonder if actually, oh, I'm... I have the uh, the world like these chunks are claimed, so like mob damage doesn't. I wonder if that's what's stopping it from doing the breaking animation. Like if I kind 
kind of curious, actually. Yeah, maybe not. Definitely get that claimed again. Um, yeah, I just don't want to. Because <laughs> I've sometimes had random creepers spawn that I didn't realize, like, I had missed one little block. And it, as I was doing stuff, it, like, walked over and blew up. But, uh, yeah. All right. So, yeah, you just place the block. Oh, there it goes. Just takes a while. Um, a block of wood, and then you get latex from it. So pretty easy. Just noticing how damaged my armor is. I need to repair that so it doesn't don't lose it. Um, and that's latex. So and then the next part is we need to do the latex processing unit. And I kind of want. I want this in a separate area, but like I said, I'm just kind of throwing it down here for the time being. Now, basically, we need. I want to use. I'll do. Um, I think you need the. What? I can never remember the name. It's like an add-on. Fluid transfer add-on. You do need plastic for this, so I can't do that yet. But uh, that's how you automate these machines. You can't. Uh, you need an add-on before you can automate it. Um, but we'll just do... What's the... Uh, man, I don't remember. Sure, why not? We'll do pressurized. Should just be able to do this. Yeah, there it goes. So that will get that, and then you just need to add water, and I should have a... Do I have a... There it is. It was on my glacial precipitator, but I have 35,000 snowballs, and I have a whole bunch already in... Yeah, I have 8,000 in a, a barrel down there, so I just pulled that out. So water... Yeah, this is definitely not... I don't want this here at all, but uh, no. all right. So there, it'll take a bucket of water and then some latex and produce these tiny dry rubber, and then these go in a furnace. Ooh. Throw this in a furnace. I wonder if this. Oh, that can't go in there. Probably because it... Oh, wait. No, that's right. All right. So this is... This... Is that normally 9 to 1? I don't remember. That goes in there. Does this give us 2? Nah, it only gives us 1. But there we go. There is our plastic. Oh, wait. Yeah, so that's right. No, no. I was right. 9 to 1. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so there's that, and then that will allow us to get the mob crusher and the mob slaughter factory. We also need these, which, yeah, that's no problem. What are these? That's no problem either. Is this used in anything else? No. All right, so there's no point in making a rest. Well, Sure, why not? Let's make a recipe for it. I don't have much in that. <laughs> I don't have anything else in this, so might as well throw it in there. But, uh, all right, that's going to be it for this episode. So next episode, we will come back and... Um, why not have... Oh, that's right. I don't even have a recipe for those. Because I don't use those. I use the other capacitors. The silver capacitor. That's right. Um, can we use the... Yeah, you can use the silver. I gotta fix that. Shift-clicking sometimes doesn't always work. <laughs> um, but, alright. Uh, yeah, like I said, that's gonna be it for this episode. So, uh, thanks for watching, and have a good one.